It's time once again for your daily news update with Dennis Daly. Now, here's Dennis with today's report. Thanks and hi again, everybody. The Vatican says Pope Benedict has talked to the woman who knocked him to the ground during Christmas services. Vatican Radio says the pot have spent time discussing the incident with Susanna Mayilo, a 25-year-old with a history of psychiatric problems. He met with her and her family in a private audience. Mayilo reportedly told the Pope she was sorry for what happened. The Pope then asked about her health and wanted to demonstrate his forgiveness. No photos were allowed to be taken. By the way, although the Pope was not injured and was able to go on with services, a retired Vatican diplomat, a French cardinal, was shoved to the ground in the scuffle, suffered a broken hip, and had to have surgery. What would you bid on a house that's only nine and a half feet wide and was built in an alley? Well, real estate developers in Manhattan tell the Associated Press the home, dubbed New York City's skinniest house, has just sold for $2.1 million. It may not seem like wonderful digs, but two rather important people once lived there, poet Edna St. Vincent Millay and anthropologist Margaret Mead. Just after the building was purchased, the new owner put it up for rent at ten grand a month. Yesterday we reported that evangelist Pat Robertson blamed the Haitian earthquake on what he called the Haitian people's pact with the devil by using voodoo. Today a senior White House advisor says that remark, well, maybe shouldn't have been made. Valerie Jarrett told ABC's Good Morning America that Robertson's statement left her speechless. Meanwhile, hundreds of countries, including the U.S., are sending relief supplies to Haiti. The death toll there may be the worst in recorded history. I'm Dennis Daly with your daily news update.